Told him that shoe fair and square. Give it back. No way. A deal's a deal. That shoe came off one of them that drowned on the bus. I don't believe you for one skinny second, Herman Brown. I'm telling you, I fished that shoe out of the river myself. You might have fished a shoe out of the river, because everybody knows that you can't fish for beans. But if you don't give John Morgan back his quarter, I'm going to knock you flat on your butt. I'm telling you, Francie, a dead nigger's foot was in that shoe. Can I help you? I'm looking for the Bedford residence. This is our house. Your folks know you talk like that. Come here, John Morgan. Put that quarter in your pocket where it belongs, you hear me? What in the world were you going to do with a crummy old shoe anyway? Look at it. this afternoon. Come on in. Have a seat. So, you know Opal? Yes, sir. My family's known her for years. Well, have you done domestic work before? Yes, sir. I work for the Carson family over on Magnolia Street till their children got sent away to school. And I work for Mr. and Mrs. McClintock cooking and cleaning up until the last two weeks. What happened? I quit. I quit, sir. I wasn't fired. Well, Opal is a very good judge of character. I'm raising three children. Nathaniel, my oldest, is 15. Francie is 13. And John Morgan is almost seven. My wife, their mother, is no longer living at the house. She's not well. I would need you here from seven in the morning until seven or eight at night. Is that a problem? No, sir, no problem. I'm prepared to pay $40 a week. We have our own washing machine and dryer. Do you drive a car? No, sir, I don't. Well, then. We'll see you first thing in the morning. My name is Lily. 